Memorial Day weekend out here with John, FLX Detectorist, hitting an old property. Been here just a little bit. This is what I got. I got a couple keys so far, or old wheat penny. It's a nice uh, metal four hole button. And one of the keys, it's got a Y on it. So I'm gonna call that the You're Digging It key. Hopefully it's the key to success and it brings us some luck today. Let's see what we can find. All right, John, thanks for the invite. I just called him over. And I got big silver. Holy crap. That is, uh, I think it's a barber. I, I saw a half dollar. Oh yeah, baby. You want the spray bottle? Oh yeah. Yeah, if you got spray handy. Yeah, FLX here spray. <laughs> do you want to squirt live sure. film? Yeah, I'll do the honors. Holy mackerel. Oh, oh yeah, baby. Look at that. <laughs> That's coming out. That is sweet. Come on, B18. I've got one. That is nice. Look at that. I've got one. I left this here for you. I just decided not to dig this the last time I was here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Can we spray a little more? I like to see that eagle shine. What see is this? Get a year. Spinner. 1893. Yes. I call it 1800. That's baby. awesome. That is sweet. Day made. You're digging it. Strikes again. <laughs> Man. Give me something. Boom shakalaka. We saw a cheap trick last night. John and I and the wives. It was a good time. Now we wake up early this morning for day of metal detecting. Beautiful Memorial Day weekend stuff. Here's that barber half after some cleanup. It's my first 1800s half dollar. Um, I decided to put it in my ugly box and run some electrolysis on it to get the uh, black tarnish and some of the crustacean off the front. The back, I mean, I didn't realize it out there that day in the field, but the back is just spectacular. I mean, it's, it, it almost looks like a mint coin to think that this was in the ground for 130 years. Unbelievable. I mean, you always love finding a big silver like this, but just for the condition, this is definitely one of the best that I've seen. And I know it was like a home permission of an 1800s house. It wasn't like anything that was, you know, a leftover from a seeded hunt or anything like that. This is definitely just a private home. Crazy. This hobby never ceases to amaze me. And uh, following this clip right here, you'll, I'll show you the before and after. You'll see it like the day, I put a photo up of the day that I brought it home from the hunt and what it looked like then and to where it is now. I know some people like the patina and, you know, wouldn't even mess with it, say don't clean coins, but this is just for my own personal liking. I felt like experimenting with it and uh, Never plan on selling it. Awesome. After Brian pulls the barber half, I decide to get a little sleigh bell. It's respectable. Things split Sleigh wide open. Fun. I like them bigger. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Grow. Water yeah. it. And it came across the horse farm, so or from a horse. Yeah. Well, yeah. Cool yeah. horse stuff everywhere. People are into horses. They're at a horse show right now. Congrats. 
Thanks, Brian. Let's find more yes. stuff. Yes. John's just got a big roundness in the hole. He hasn't ID'd it yet. Not sure. Coin, button, what? Token, maybe? Token? I think I gotta spray it because I can't. I think it's probably a token. Maybe. Oh. Let me spray it. There's definitely words and a bust of some sort. Hopefully I'm not ruining it by spraying water on it. Alright, so there's words. I have no idea. Person facing left. Never seen this before. Uh, taking on a little bit of a... I don't think it's silver though. Copperish color. Yeah. Almost like a foreign coin or a token. Yeah, it could be. I never oh. saw that guy before. That guy. He's elusive. <laughs> <laughs> what about the backside? Oh, the backside's pretty crusty. Yeah, I don't think we're going to see much on the backside for now. No. Anyways, there's some guy. He's looking this way. We'll try to figure it out and get back to you. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. Big roundness. I, yeah. see, I might see the word George. I don't know. We'll see. There it is. I think it says George the Sixth. And it says over here something penny. It's hold. Cool coin. Something different. John has called me over and says he has the one dime game. Yep. He's got his FLX water already. You have not seen the other side yet? Nope. At all. It's going to rub that off a little bit. I'll show you the one dime side. Nice. Either way, on the board with silver. It's not going to be easy. It's a bar, bar, bar. Nothing wrong with that. Nope. Silver, Come silver. On. Silver is silver. Can you see the date? Let's see. Too much water? <laughs> Might be too much water. Let's give it a little... I think the muddy water ball is right where the... Let me yeah, see if you can back for a second. Let's touch it to my jeans. Without rubbing, come back. 1916, I believe. Oh, is that, that's the, cool. is that the last year? Yeah, it is. First year for America, last year for the barber. I think that's what it says. Sweet. Yes, congrats. Right. Thanks for doing that. A couple more relics coming out of the ground at this old house we're at. I got a uh, suspender clasp type thingy and uh, old valve stem cover for like a Model A, Model T, old car valve stem cover. So cool old finds. Let's see what else we can get. John just called me over. Got, got a bang, a, banging signal. A banging signal. You ready? Here we go. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Love. Very punny. As Audrey would say, pew pew. Pew pew. Nice one. That. Fully, that fully sweet. intact. You don't find them like that. No, that's beautiful. Look, oh, it's got the little, is that like a little pony on it? No. Yep. Uh, yeah, or a bowl. A bowl? Yep. yep. A star? Yep. Fully With intact. Sure shooter. Yeah, that's my first. It's fully intact. I've gotten some close to this, but 
I love old toys that like that. That is a sweet, that's like 1950s, I believe. Yeah. 55, maybe, 50, 55. Groovy. Sweet. And amongst the trees. Kids probably back here playing, running around. This is where I found that Cracker Jacks token. You found the Cracker Jacks, okay. The president oh. of Cracker Jacks, which right. was the president of the United States instead. <laughs> <laughs> Latest cool find, a uh, re religious medallion. I think they call this the miraculous medallion. Pretty cool. I'd say it's American. John's letting me use his FLX water. I just called him over. I got a silver in the hole. I think it's going to be a Merc. He sounds disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Silver's, silver's always good and welcome. Let's make it a 1916 that matches my barber. Definitely. Oh yeah, Merc. Beautiful. Pretty coin. That is sweet. I'm not, not going to be sure of the year. Maybe 27, I think it is actually. Nice. 1927. All right. Mercury You're digging its uh, second silver of the day. That is awesome. Sweet. Congrats, dude. Thank you. The silver sniper. <laughs> Strikes again. We'll take it. Killer find right here. I just dug out of this plug a half cent with a date, 1804. And get the date off of it. And you can clearly read on the back the half cent and then see down here where it says one over 200. Awesome. One million made. One million minted, John says. Love it. It's a great bust half cent. What a day we're having. That's awesome. Nice. Got another silver deep in this hole. We have not cleaned it yet. You got your Wawa? I do. Looking for a clue. What could it be? Oh, it is. Okay, <laughs> sorry. I had... it's, a oh, it's a rosy. Alright. Hey, silver, silver. Silver, silver. <clears throat> that was probably deeper than any of yeah, them so crazy. far. Funny how that goes. Still, 1950, happy to have them. I didn't think the steak could get any better. I just dug a big old can of Stolga Bell, I believe is what they call these. It'll look nice once I get it cleaned up. That is awesome. Been digging a lot of uh, lantern parts around the area where I am right now. I think I got enough lantern parts to build two lanterns. This is awesome. Let's keep digging. Yeah, we are having a day here for sure. Here's that bell cleaned up a little. And that, there's the clapper it was inside. It's all, that was iron. Maybe we can do some electrolysis on it. Get the clean up a little bit.
Awesome. All right, and that's a wrap on that hunt. What an amazing day we had. Here's a bunch of the stuff that I didn't even film that just uh, were an indication of age there. We have old clock parts and a ton of lantern parts. I love digging stuff like this too. So much character and it shows the age and the patina. This one actually has a date on it. It says patent April 14th, 68. So of course that's gonna be 1868. It says Meridian up there. Wicked cool oldies. And here's all the stuff that I you saw during the video. The Conestoga Bell, three silver coins, the You're Digging It key, the old button. This I didn't, I don't think I filmed this. Pretty cool piece. I don't know what it went would have went to. That's cool. And I named this video a day of two halves because we had both a half dollar and a half cent. And this uh, great bust half cent is my first that is uh, easily identifiable. I have one that was pretty wiped. Uh, this one I could get a date off. You can see everything. United States of America, half cent, one over 200 in the wreath on the reverse side. And then this side, we got the Liberty across the top. Uh, Lady Liberty there and nice 1804 date. So we had the half cent and the beautiful half dollar, which is just unbelievable condition there. 1893, my first uh, 1800s big silver half. It was a great day. Thanks, John FLX Detectress, for the invite hopefully we can even get back to the uh, same place I'm sure there's got to be more hit it again see what else we can find and thanks for watching I am now a Kelly Co. affiliate. Please use the link in the description of this video to shop for all your treasure hunting needs. Thank you.